Hey, what's up everybody? This is Jason from LeakDroid.com and I'm here with another edition of the LeakDroid review series. Today's guest is the Motorola Droid. Now the Droid is a new smartphone launching on Verizon on November 6th and it's Verizon's first Android phone. The Droid is also the first phone to run Android 2.0. Uh, that's Google's latest version of the operating system. Uh, the Droid is a very, very high-end smartphone. 3.7 inch capacitive glass touchscreen, uh, 5 megapixel camera on the back, and as you can see, uh, build wise, this thing is pretty slick. Uh, Motorola says it's the thinnest QWERTY slider ever made. It's right there is a full slide out QWERTY keyboard, uh, backlit and all. Uh, touch touch sensitive navigation buttons on the front. Uh, you have your back menu, home, and dedicated search buttons. Uh, on the top here, the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack and power button. On the side, uh, the volume up and down rocker and the dedicated camera key. On the left, a micro USB port, which also doubles as the charging port. Uh, Design-wise, uh, like, like I said, this thing is so thin. Uh, build quality is really, really nice on this device. It's a heavier device, but it's a good heavy. It's a a heavy that lets you know that this is, you know, a very high-end device kind of heavy. <laughs> you get the feeling in your hand that this is a nice device that you're holding. Um, you know, build quality is excellent, excellent. There's no, uh, it's not spring-assisted slight, you know, motion on the key, on the, on the screen sliding. Um, but it is a very smooth, controlled motion. Um, and you get a nice, you can hear the nice, satisfying click, uh, you know, when you slide it open and closed. Um, but in you know build design wise and build quality wise this phone is engineered really really well it's like I said the weight uh, is it's balanced really well there's no uh, but there's no creakiness or you know rickety plasticky kind of kind of things going on here uh, the droids mostly metal there is some plastic uh, mostly down in this area I think which is where the radios are stored in this little chin here uh, and of course the you know the battery cover and uh, you know the back is a, it's a soft touch soft touch plastic uh, you know, grippy feeling. It's 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 really nice. Uh, and it you know feels really good in your hand. Like I said, five megapixel camera, autofocus, dual LED flash. Uh, a great great external speaker. We'll dig into that a little bit more later. Uh, but design wise, uh, the Droid is you know it's part sexy, part you know industrial you know workhorse. Uh, I guess if you want to call it that. Uh, I think you know. It looks really good, you know, even the, the edges, you know, might be a little sharper edges kind of thing, sharper angles, not sharper edges, sharper angles, uh, but rounded edges, you can see the corners are all rounded, and, uh, but design-wise, you know, it, the droid kind of stands on its own, there's, there's nothing else on the market that, that looks like it, uh, or that it looks like it's, you know, it's totally its own new design, and uh, I really like the design of the droid. So hardware-wise, the Motorola Droid uh, is a bit of a milestone for Android phones. Um, it is the first phone to have uh, any kind of upgraded specs hardware-wise. And, uh, you know, Motorola <laughs> certainly didn't skimp. They, they went for the gusto on this one, and they certainly didn't skimp on the hardware specs. Uh, you have a Cortex-A8 uh, chipset, which includes the OMAP 3430 processor, 600 megahertz processor, and uh, PowerVR GPU, the graphics processor. So think of it, uh, you know, kind of like your computer, you have your processor, you know, Pentium or AMD Athlon, and then you also have a dedicated video card, you know, for graphics. Uh, so the same is with this Cortex-A8 chipset. Uh, you have a dedicated processor and dedicated you know, graphics processor. So uh, the thing's absolutely, it's so fast. It's definitely, I'll tell you right now, let's get out of the way. It's the fastest Android handset. Uh, available on the market right now. It's, it just simply smokes everything else out there. And it definitely rivals, it's right on par with the with the other top smartphones out there. Uh, you know, it's going to get catapulted right up into that status, you know, immediately. So, uh, I, they didn't, you know, they didn't skimp at all. I'm glad they didn't. Uh, and it makes for a really, really great Android experience. Now, the Droid is running uh, Android 2.0, like I said. Uh, and a lot of new features have, have been introduced, um, a lot of new optimizations, a lot of work on the back end. Google has done uh, a pretty good job with it. So let's let's take a quick peek here. New lock screen, you see. Uh, it says, you know, running on Verizon Wireless. 
Uh, so when you start to tap the lock screen, you know, it tells you, okay, you got to slide to the right. Uh, now if you tap over here, it tells you, you know, slide to the left, and there's, you know, the volume icon. So that means if you slide to the left, put it in silent mode real quick, slide to the left again, right back to silent, or back to normal volume mode. Slide to the right to unlock it, there's your home screen. Now, uh, I've customized it a little bit, changed the wallpaper, added a couple, you know, widgets that I, that I like, that I use pretty often. Um... Three default home screens, um, you know, pretty standard Android stuff. It is stock Android, and this is a Google Experience phone, so uh, carriers are not allowed to modify the device in any way. So there's no preloaded Verizon software on here, um, which a lot of people, a lot of people complain about often. Carrier branded software, uh, no full Google Experience, stock Android 2.0. Um, the app tray has seen some modifications, uh, you know, colors a little bit different, some newer icons, uh, the font rendering is, is really, really sharp, it's crisp. Um, Android 2.0, you know, in Android 1.6 actually they introduced, uh, you know, higher support for higher screen resolutions, and the Droid has a super high, super high screen resolution, um, and so you can really see that uh, take hold here in, in the... Uh, the fonts and, and, and icons and stuff, everything is really crisp and, and clean and really nice. Uh, there, oh, let's check this out. There is a new updated camera app, uh, which a lot of people have been asking for. And of course, you can also access this by just holding down the dedicated camera button. Uh, but you have one-click access to uh, switching between video and camera modes. So just a you know, quick tap there and you're between video and camera. And there's a new settings drawer over here on the left which uh, you can just pop out and see, you know, you can scroll through and change. You know, so it's pretty tweakable. Uh, that was the complaint of, you know, the last Android, you know, ca camera app that it wasn't, you know, as customizable as some people might have liked it to be. Uh, but they've, you know, definitely updated that and they've done a pretty good job. So, good job Google. Uh, so that's a very welcome addition to Android 2.0. Uh, contacts, if you go to Contacts, there's a new feature called Quick Contact. So what that is, is if you tap on the Contacts picture, uh, a little menu pops up and it shows you, you know, all the services that you have set for that contact. So phone, you know, this is to edit their contact, messaging, uh, and then if you have an address in here, uh, there's, it shows you the Maps icon. So if you just tap on the maps icon, fires up the maps, and it takes you, you know, right to that, right to the address on the map. <laughs> and so you can see, uh, you know, just from that quick little test, how fast the droid is. It's it's really really fast, and things just kind of happen uh, when you want them to happen, which is really nice. Uh, also, they have integrated Facebook into the Android platform, so the app does come pre-installed. Uh, and the other cool thing is you just have to log in if you go to settings and accounts and sync Set up your Facebook account, and then you can choose uh, You know if you want to link all your contacts to some of them, you know, you can you can choose how you want to set it up but In the quick contact say if you go to somebody who has Facebook uh, You can just tap from Facebook from their quick contact and it fires up the Facebook app and goes right to their profile. Bam, there it is. You know, go through their photos, do whatever you want. Uh, it's 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 a really nice feature, and I'm I'm really glad that they they introduced it. There's also a new dialer. Uh, the old dialer <laughs> was was good. You know, the old dialer is is good. It's usable, but the new dialer looks a little bit better. I think. Um, you know, it's just a new. It might not be a new dialer per se, but more of a, a new skin. Uh, you know, a new theme on the dialer. Uh, but there is a dedicated voicemail button down here, which is kind of cool, so you, you know, one-tap access. Uh, 